Now, ladies and gentlemen, on our field trip today, we will be searching for various species of insects, plants, and reptiles. I would appreciate it if everyone would stay together, all right? Fortunate Mr. Crabtree agreed to a financial settlement, gentlemen. Was rather inclined to break your necks. You two may go. He can't do nothing right. Well, David, what do you have to say for yourself? I don't mind standing up to school, but I'd rather you whip me with a switch and let me go home two hours. Pa whip me anyway for coming home two hours late. You're too big to whip. But duty compels me to punish you for climbing that tree. You boys knew better than that. The other two boys have paid their one dollar each. Can't you borrow the money? I can't. I have to take the punishment. I just wish it was a quicker punishment. I'm sure your father will understand. You don't know my father. He says if you spare the rod, you'll spoil the child. I'll never make him understand about the cherry tree. I'm allowing you 25 cents an hour, and I'll pay the one dollar to Mr. Crabtree for you. But you must stay after school two hours today and two tomorrow. But... I'll do it. I'm just a little late. I see you are. You forgetting we got a farm to run? You forget that, you can forget about this schooling, too. What in God's name kept you? Send you to high school and you get too ornery for the buzzards to smell. You tell me what you're doing, get in here this time of night, or I'll take a switch to you right here on the spot. I had to stay at the school. Why? Two other boys in me. We broke down a cherry tree. I didn't have the money to pay. Professor's making me... He's giving me 25 cents an hour. Just whose cherry tree did you break? Mr. Arsh Crabtree's. I Crabtree. Crabtree's place is pretty near four miles from a school. They just let you get out and gad over the hillside. No. We have to hunt down snakes and lizards, because we study them in class. Me and two other boys, we were just trying to grab a lizard. We didn't mean to break the tree. Mm -hmm. No, oh, you get some sleep now. We have plenty of time for frolicking. 
Them other two boys have to stay after school, too? No. They had their money. Punish the poor man's son, huh? I'll take care of your professor. Letting you leave your books and go gallivanting all over? What kind of a school is that know-how? This is all the truth, right? Yeah. Go see for yourself. That's just what I'll do. In the morning. We'll be starting supper without you. Now, Luster, I'm on and you're not to get it all riled by this thing. Why not? I had to do all the milking tonight, chop all the wood. It's too hard on me after I turn the ground all day. I'm going to take off tomorrow and see if I can remedy things a little. I'll take a different kind of lesson down there and make them acquainted with it. You're just going down there to show off. Plague your own boy to death in front of the scholars. Plague or no plague, I'm going to show them it ain't right to keep one boy in and let the other two go scot-free. My boy's as good as the rest, ain't he? They can't do me and my boy that way. A bullet will make a hole in a school teacher, same as it will anybody else. Oh, now, lost I got you. I said, that's final. Why'd I have to climb that cherry tree anyway? Why did we run crazy over the hills and away from the rest? Why'd that tree have to split and fall? It should have been a stronger tree. Why that crab tree just happened to be there? He should have been a better man than to make us pay. Why is all this happening to me? I think it is. He cares more about that calf than he does about me. That's not true. You never let your brothers or sisters go to no high school. He's proud of you. Pa's gone crazy. I'm going to leave home in high school forever. Don't make things any worse, boy. Even if you did run away, that wouldn't change the way your father sees things. You'd still go after Professor Herbert. You would think that high school and Professor Herbert run you away from home. You better get some sleep, baby. Let's go.
would you care to sit down? Thank you. David says that you all went out bug hunting yesterday. He says you broke a cherry tree down. He says that you had to stay two hours after school to work out the money to pay for that tree. Is that right? Oh, yes, I guess that's right. Why did you bring that gun? See that hole? A bullet will come out of that hole. will kill a school teacher, same as it will any other man. It'll kill a rich man, same as a poor man. I do my duty, Mr. Sexton. I follow a course of study the state provides for us. Course of study? What study? Bug study, varmint study, boys and girls out there gallivanting in the brush and kicking up their heels while their poor old ma's and pa's at home are slaving to keep them in school. Close the door. Just don't look good to me. What else could I have done with David, Mr. Sexton? The boys had no business climbing that cherry tree. Unless I make the other two boys pay and let your boy off. I'll tell you what you could have done with him. You could have larrup him. That's what he needed. He's too big to whip. But he's not too big to learn responsibility. In this life, you pay for your mistakes. Whipping him wouldn't have paid for that tree. Working for it does. This whole school business just don't look good to me. David, you better go out and tell them there'll be a few more minutes. OK, sir. Would you do me a favor? What's that? Would you stay with me today and let me show you the school? The school's changed a lot since you went. You're darn tootin' I'm gonna stay. God. Um, you can put the gun away now. You won't be needing it. I knew that the minute I laid eyes on you. These here fists of mine could do you up a few seconds. People have work to do. 